everyone it's time for our steam and art picks for kindergarten 2017 through 2018 school year let's get right into it because there is a lot you can tell that we are a art-based family there are tons of art teachers in my family the importance of art is huge in our family so we try to get to art where we can for our more for the more technique art and because i myself am not an art teacher i went the dvd route this is called home art studio the teacher is teach the this is a certified art education teacher she teaches there is a video for kindergarten through i think sixth grade you'll have to double check up the website for that um what it is is it's this is a year's worth of this is a kin, this is the curriculum for kindergarten. Um, I pop in the DVD, I pull out the supplies for that particular lesson, and say go, follow directions and go. So it is art class on a DVD form, so she can pause it and it's individualized, and it should be great. I've looked, watched some preview videos. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, a lot of this stuff is. Um, art supplies to go with that curriculum. Um, there is a link on their website to a kit that you can buy in specifically. I did not go that route. I went and collected the things myself. However, how, the amount of money I spent at Hobby Lobby just the other day was pretty much equal to the kindergarten kit online and I didn't get everything. So there is a bit of a deal there. I may have gotten some a bit higher quality stuff on some things. I got extras of some things and didn't get others. So you'll just have to figure out what the what is the best for you. Um, first recommended was, they said only get one pack of um, construction paper, but the brand that they recommended was the brand that I found at Hobby Lobby. And it's just a fun, like fun, vibrant colors. Not what I'm used to from, um, construction paper so I got two packs of those um, and then they had me get watercolor paper and Bristol paper and so I have those and then I had got some Sculpey some they I, I kind of went overboard with the artist palettes because I couldn't I didn't my husband and I couldn't decide which to get and there's three and they're only like three bucks or less each so we said oh heck let's just get all three the ones the three let's just get the three that we like the best and we'll figure out throughout the year that we like so there's one that's kind of flower like that has kind of nice deep things there's a bit of a more shallowy one that was only a buck and then there was the one that was recommended by an art teacher friend of mine which is a um just a circle with little wells and a big little well in the middle um as you can see i've got tons of paint which i will probably refresh before the fall and the tons of brushes. Um, oh, and it also recommended, and there is also gonna be a lesson or two and some oil pastels. There might be some things here or there that I haven't gotten for the thing yet, but that's basically what it has you get um, when we ha already have markers and things. Um, this is a tray we use for some art projects. Um, we also use it for putty or kinetic sand, just kind of a nice little tray that I found at Michael's that we like using for just to keep messes clean, but allow her to have kind of hands-on kind of fun activities. Um, moving on to the books. Um, this is Color Me Our World. I found this on Timberdoodle. Um, I don't believe they sell it anymore. I got it on a clearance sale. It was a buy one, get one free with Color Me Oceans. Um, it's 36 activities, so she'll do one from each book a, each week. And um, I got it. I, I was I was attracted to the Our World because we are doing studying our. I'm, I'm introducing her to global things and different cultures in our homeschool study or in our social studies study this year. So it's kind of more to do with that than to art. But um, so it's different things for different countries all around the world, different cultures, kind of a nice fun way to like introduce topics for that. Um, and this actually in, will end up working well with her, our studies because um, with our study of ha habitats, one of them will be the ocean. And so we will kind of get into some topic there. And it's again, just a fun doodly kind of colory book with things for the ocean. 
Um, if you watch my pre-K reviews, you know what this book is. This is Doodle Draw Inside, Outside, and Everywhere. It is a fun book. We've been lo loving it. We only started it in March, so we have halfway left to go. So she will finish this before she moves on to her next doodle book. But we kind of use it like a, a journal entry creative thinking challenge. So it's it kind of is a draw something in here kind of book and she has to figure out how to do it where the frustration has been coming is is her inability to figure out how to draw and that's been stumping her um so when she finishes this book she will move on to the pinkalicious pinkadoodles book um it's it's part of the pinkalicious series um same kind of doodle same kind of concept as the doodle and draw everywhere book um just prompt little little prompts for her to continue drawing and doodling as she feels um as she goes throughout the year um she's really excited about this one when she finishes this one there's a purple doodles and a gold do golden goldie doodles or whatever it is um to follow it um i found this on amazon um up next is a cookbook i found at pottery uh, at I found it at Barnes & Noble. I used my educator discount card to get it. It's called Cook Me a Story. And where we really like it is, A, the illustrations are just stinking adorable. I mean, just look at these illustrations. They are so cute. And the setup of it, I just really like the concept of it. Um, you read a story, it's set up. So like the first one is Goldilocks and the three pears. Not bears, pears. So they tweak famous fairy tales and change them up for it to be incorporate the recipe. And you read through the story. And as you read through the story, you hit certain spots where you do certain, in, where you do certain instructions. The white spots are the instructions. The little wand is where an adult needs to help. Um, so it's really, it's really cute. Um, it's just a fun way to start introducing the concept of, um, cooking and step-by-steps and it's life skill type things that I feel are important for everybody to know. Um, continuing in the art, um, we have the draw patterns book and kit. This was part of the um, recommended timber doodle kit for 2016-2017 for kindergarten. That's where I first found it and I um, it wasn't in there this year. I don't remember why. Um, I can't remember if they do still sell it or not. Um, I particularly just found mine on Amazon. Um, I wasn't sure when I was ordering my kit whether or not I wanted to include it, and I just recently decided to, oh heck, go ahead and do it, um, which I will talk about that at a later time. But for this, it was really good. Um, it's really good. It just teaches how to use shapes and little squiggles to make patterns and creative and it's more of a good creative thinking kind of book comes with markers I don't know if we'll use those markers I don't know the quality of them but they're there uh, my husband's in IT and he will be helping to start introducing her to computers and coding this is an Usborne book I found it at Barnes and Noble I use my educator discount card on it it's like all of the other wonderful lift the flat books from Usborne tons of things um yeah um, my husband, after looking through it, he said he was very impressed with the knowledge in it. Um, he thinks that it might, some of it might go over her head at kindergarten, but it is definitely a book that she can um, start to grow with and it can probably be good for years and years to come. Um, the last two books in the series is we're going to do the next round of cutting books um, from Kuman because I want to continue building those cut wonderful cutting skills and keep them going. And then lastly, is the big book, a uh, big drawing book, and it is a doodle drawing book where um, it just teaches you how to draw. And I think learning how to draw different things and have, starting that knowledge of how to use shapes to turn into like your own drawings will help with the doodle books. So that's what we've got. Make, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep following along with us in our journey throughout our year. Thanks for watching. Bye.